Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the exercise for chapter number 13 that is fun with magnets of your NCRT science book. So let us begin. The first question says fill in the blanks in the following. So number one. Artificial magnets are made in different shapes such as what are the different shapes of artificial magnets? Remember there are three different shapes of artificial magnet. One is bar magnet. Another one is horseshoe magnet. And cylindrical magnet. Okay. So bar magnet we all know it looks like this. It has a north pole and a south pole. It is also known as I-shaped magnet. Okay. Then coming to horseshoe magnet. Horseshoe magnet looks like this. Again, it has a north pole and a south pole. And this magnet is also known as U-shaped magnet. Okay. And finally, we have the third type of magnet that is cylindrical magnet. A cylindrical magnet looks like a cylinder like this. You must have seen a battery, right? It's cylindrical in shape. Similarly, this is also cylindrical in shape. Okay. Now, the second question. The materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called students. Remember, only magnetic materials are attracted towards magnet, not any other material. Okay. So, those materials that are attracted towards a magnet is known as magnetic material. Now, paper is not a dash material. Now, paper, students, do paper get attracted to a magnet? No. So, it is not a magnetic material. Okay. In olden days, sailor used to find direction by suspending a piece of bar magnet. You know, if you suspend a piece of bar magnet freely, it will point towards the geographic north and geographic south showing the direction, predicting or indicating the direction. Okay. That is why in olden days, sailors used to use the bar magnet to find the direction. A magnet always has two poles. Always remember magnet exists in pairs. They always have dipoles. That means they always have two poles. A north pole and a south pole. Even if you break this magnet in two. It will again have a north pole and a south pole. Okay. Now number two. Find. Sorry. State whether the following statements are true or false. Okay. Number one. A cylindrical magnet has only one pole. Did I tell you? Does magnet have only one pole? No, never. Magnet unipole never exists. Whether it is a cylindrical magnet, horseshoe magnet, bar magnet, they will always exist in dipoles. They will always have two poles. So the statement is false. Number two. Artificial magnets were discovered in Greece. Okay. Artificial magnets were discovered in Greece. What, what magnets were discovered in Greece? Natural. So the answer will be false. And what would be the correct statement? Natural magnets were discovered in Greece. Okay. Number three. Similar poles of a magnet repel each other. So students, if you see my lecture on uh, fun with magnets, I have told you what happens when we bring two magnets close to each other? If you bring two magnets close to each other such that the like poles face each other, then there will be a repulsion showing that like poles repel. And similarly, if you bring two magnets with opposite poles to all facing each other, then in that case, you will find they getting attracted to each other, thereby indicating unlike poles attract each other. I'm writing it down here. Unlike poles attract. 
So like poles repel and unlike poles attract. Clear? So what would be the answer? Similar poles of a magnet repel each other. True. Next question. Question number four. Maximum iron filings stick in the middle of a bar magnet when it is brought near them. This is false. If you bring iron filings near a bar magnet, you will find that maximum iron filings are sticking towards the poles of the magnets. And very less maybe will be sticking towards the middle or center of the magnet. Because the strength of a magnet, the strength of the bar magnet is maximum at poles. And minimum at the center. Students, I am explaining all the answers to you so that any other question that appears in your examination apart from this, you will be able to answer it. Okay, because if the concept is clear, you can answer any questions shown to you. Okay, number five. Bar magnets always points towards north south direction absolutely true number six a compass can be used to find east west direction at any place what does why do we use a compass to find the direction so here in this case if you know the north south direction definitely you can find the east west direction too Okay, so the answer is true. Number seven, rubber is a magnetic material. Try out. If you have any doubt about this, please try out. Take a rubber, bring it close to a magnet, see if it gets attracted or not. It won't get attracted because it is not a magnetic material. Okay. Question number three. It was observed that a pencil sharpener gets attracted by both the poles of a magnet although its body is made of plastic. Name a material that might have been used to make some part of it. Okay, if you see a sharpener, you all must be having a sharpener with you. If you see a sharpener, you will see a part of the sharpener where exactly we put the pencil and sharpen it. That part of the sharpener is made up of iron. Okay. So, the answer would be iron is used to make some part of sharpener due to which it attracts, gets attracted towards the magnet. Okay. Question number four. Column one shows different positions in which pole of a magnet is placed near that of the other. Column two indicates the resulting action between them for each situation. Fill in the blanks. Now you see if two north, uh, north poles are placed facing each other, then what will happen? Repulsion. Like poles repel. Now, in column 2, you can see attraction. Attraction can only happen if opposite poles are facing each other. So, here, south pole will be the answer, not south. Again, here, south not unlike pole. So, the answer in column 2 will be attraction. Column 1, again, it's repulsion. So, here, it will be south pole. Okay? Clear? Now, let us go to question number 5. Write any two properties of a magnet. So students, can you tell me any two properties of a magnet? The one, the, the first and the very important and the very clear property is a magnet has two poles. How many poles does a magnet has? Two. A magnet has two poles. And what are those two poles? North pole 
and South Pole. Okay, number two. Like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. Like poles repel each other. Unlike poles attract each other. You can also write if there were three properties, then you can also write in number three that uh, the strength of the uh, magnet magnet is maximum at the poles and minimum at the center. Okay, so that if they ask you write any three properties, you can include that. Question number six: Where are the poles of a magnet bar magnet located? Poles are located at the ends of a bar magnet. Okay, so we already know where it is located. We have just seen this is a bar magnet, and the, this is the end. This is the end here. North and pole, uh, south poles are located. So what do we write over here? Poles are located at the ends of the bar magnet. Okay, then number eight, you are given an iron strip. How will you make it into a magnet? Now, students, if you go to my lecture, you will find out the answer how we can convert an iron strip into a magnet. Okay, so I'll just actually, I since I have the PDF, I'll just show you all the method is given to you in your NCRT book here. Make your own magnet. You can see how can you make. Take a rectangular piece of iron. Take a rectangular piece of iron. Place it on the table. Now take a bar magnet and place one of its pole near one edge like this. You see near take one, one pole of the magnet at one edge. Suppose you placed it here. And slowly you have to drag the magnet in this direction without lifting it. You have to drag the magnet like this, then lift it up like this and then again go and keep repeating this. Okay, so let us read through so that you can construct your answer. So take a bar magnet and place one of its pole near one edge of the iron bar. Without lifting the bar magnet, move it along the length of the iron bar till you reach the other end. Now lift the magnet and bring the pole to the same point of the iron bar which you began. Wherever you started, you have to bring it there itself. Okay. Move the magnet again along the, dire uh, along the direction as you did before. Repeat this process 30 to 40 times and you see this, this iron bar will be converted into a magnet. Okay. And suppose it doesn't, you have to uh, continue the process for some more time until it turns into a magnet okay so that's quite simple and easy so question number eight done question number nine how is a compass used to find directions so how do you, how is a compass used to find directions students uh, a compass is basically a small case that is made up of glass now, a magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box of a compass. The needle can rotate freely. Okay. Now, compass also has a dial which is which has directions marked on it. If I can show you. It is there. Just wait a minute. Here. Can you see a compass? You can see this is a compass. So, this is a small case of glass, a magnetized needle. This needle is a magnetized needle. It is pivoted. This is pivoted inside the box. The needle can rotate freely. The compass has a dial. This is called the dial where all the demarcations are done. So, it is marked uh, with directions. The compass is kept in a place where you want to know the directions. Now, when the needle comes to rest, it indicates which, which direction? North, south direction. 
the compass is rotated until the north and south marked on the dial are at the two ends of the needle. Usually different colors are used to point the end of the needles to identify the north pole and the south pole. As you can see slightly this, is, this part was colored okay, and this is not colored. So indicating the north-south direction. Clear? I hope that is clear to you. If you want me to write that long answer down, I can just mention it in the comment section, okay? Question number 10. A magnet was brought from different directions towards a toy boat that has been floating in, a, in water in a tub. Effect observed in each case is stated in column 1. Possible reasons observed is stated in column 2. Match the statements of column 1 with those in column 2. So let us do that. The first one. Boats get attracted towards the magnet. Why do you think boats get attracted? Why anything get attracted towards a magnet? Because they are made up of magnetic material. So this would be this okay boat is not affected by the magnet why a boat cannot be affected by a magnet it can only happen if the boat is made up of a non-magnetic material so this the answer should be this okay boat moves towards the magnet if north pole of the magnet is brought near its head and why would it happen so if boat is fitted with a magnet with south pole towards it, then only the north pole will get attracted, right? So the answer to this will be this. The last, the sorry, the number fourth, boat moves towards, uh, away from the magnet when the north pole is brought near its head. Okay, you're bringing north pole and it is getting repelled. So it must be, uh, the boat is fitted with a magnet with north pole towards it, head. So this one, because like poles repel. Boat floats without changing its direction. Okay, and why without changing its direction? Because boat has small magnet fixed along its length, which is continuously showing its the direction. Is it clear? Always pointing towards the north-south direction. Is it clear, all of you? That's all. Uh, here are some suggested activities which I would like you to try at your home. Please do so. It's going to clear a lot of concepts with you. If you need any kind of help, kindly please mention it in the comment section. I'm always there to help you guys. Thank you and bye-bye.